Here goes. Okay. That's so, oh, I totally, oh, oh, mm. I totally get it now. Yeah, there's a line building up behind me now. It's almost my turn now. Yeah. I'm going to prepare it now. I think that's a sauerkraut. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's lekker. Here it is, you guys, and I'm so excited to eat. Wait, brutchen. And this is a sauerkraut, but fresh though. Oh my god. Let's open this one. Okay, it smells so good. Okay, so this is going to be my first time eating. No, this is not my first time eating like a fresh sauerkraut. It's like normally when I visit my aunt. My husband, Bernard, would usually cook like German dishes. So this is not the first time. But I'm not sure what this is though, because I asked the woman when I wanted to like try everything. I wanted to have the Mitex dish. And she said that's everything, they just mix it all together. So I'm thinking this has the sauerkraut but how come it has the consistency of a mashed potato maybe they added some as well and they have some meat in here so you know what there are no expectations i just want something very hearty warm home cooked today so it's 2 p.m and as you can see in there there are still people lining up even up until 2 p.m so they usually open up until 3. so here goes Okay, that's so, oh, I totally, oh, oh, mm. I totally get it now. So they kind of like mixed the sauerkraut and I think the potatoes and of course the meat in there. I, when I had the first bite, the first taste that I encountered was the sourness of the sauerkraut then the saltiness of um, the flavor and the smokiness of the meat. Mm, this is good. Perfect. This is perfect for lunch. It will really make you full. Because I've never been a fan of sauerkraut too much because it's too, it's too sour for me. And as a Filipino, the closest thing we have to sauerkraut is the achara. And achara is a bit sour but a little bit sweet. Because Filipinos have a sweet tooth. And the um, sauerkraut is just mainly sour and salty. Mm. So the mashed potato made sure to offset the um, sourness of the sauerkraut. Oh, this is good. And I'm actually really impressed right now. It's because no, no matter what I say, normally. German food is a bit too bland for my taste, but this is very flavorful. It's paired up with a broche, brochen. <laughs> hey, I'm so sorry, guys, if I don't really pronounce it, wrong, it correctly. Mm. Now, the thing about brochen is that before I was not really a fan of it since. For me, it 
fucked up like it's like a bra because it's so hard on the outside. Oh, can you hear that? But now though, I'm a big sucker for it. I really don't know what this is called. All I know is that. It has a little bit of everything. Like this one. We have the, this one, we have the worst, the sausage. Mm. Before I forget, I also got some <laughs> add-ons. So these are, I think, chicken wings. I was, I was supposed to just order two. And um, the lady gave me four and she said, you know what, I'll give you extra two. I said, okay, thank you. Tastes to be nice. Mm. But I would definitely prefer this over that one. I mean, you can always have... I don't think this is chicken, this is pork. Just fried pork. pork. I would definitely prefer this because this is more hearty. And especially now since it's been raining the whole day. So it's officially autumn now. The leaves have finally changed colors. And autumn can be so beautiful when it's sunny. The day starts a little bit longer too. Usually around almost 7, it's still dark. It's during summer, we have the sunrise at around 5.30 at its peak, even 5. And normally though, even during a sunny day, it starts out as a little bit really cold and um, full of fog every morning. You would not, you'd lose hope um, in the morning thinking, I mean, hoping that there's going to be sun that day. And you'd be like, oh, sucks. I think it's not going to be sunny, even though Google says it's going to be sunny. Because when you wake up, it's full of fog and it's very cold during the morning. Sometimes it could be up to it at um, three degrees. But then, during around lunchtime though, the sun comes up and you see it and you see the color of the trees. It's so beautiful. And especially if the temperature is double digits. So love it. Which is why I'm kind of jealous of my friends in Spain. Shout out to Kit. It's like she posted a picture of October in um, España and oh my god like the weather is so lovely it's like sunny every day and a little bit cool not cold cool just perfect weather my god And the reason why I wanted to eat something German this day, like today, is that in a few days, I'm headed somewhere in the tropics. So I said I should try at least something German because I'm not going to have it for a month. So that's why I'm having this one. I just had a perfect excuse because I've been actually on a... I've been trying to have a low-carb diet since I'm going on a holiday and during the holidays, I... I don't I don't watch what I eat I just eat everything when I go to a country I just try I just want to try everything so I know I'm gonna gain weight when uh, I go for my holidays and I just wanted to offset everything that I'm going to gain with a weight loss a week before my holiday I don't think I can finish this right now, but I'm gonna eat this later for dinner. And I would say, this is really good. And I'm, I'm not lying, I'm not joking, you can look into my eyes. This is good, I, I really enjoyed it. 
and especially if you go to a local place. Every time I go to a certain country, I just make sure I eat where the locals eat, not really in restaurants. So this was in a Metzgerai. Metzgerai is a butcher shop. So they serve, they have all this meat and stuff and other meat related products and some in Espanol. They have a, what do you call it? Some tapas that they sell in there. Plus they, well I guess from the meat that they, they do not sell, they probably cook this one. Which is actually, I would say, a really bright idea. And at least you have like fresh food every day. And I've been seeing this Metzgerai, they always have lines during lunchtime. So I've always been curious as to what they're offering. Mm. I'm quite full now. And I'm hoping you got full as well. I'm hoping that you got Until next time, and I'm so excited for you guys to see my next few videos um, when I'm uh, in my holiday. <laughs> okay? Until then. Until next time. Ciao.